Hey, welcome to Bonnie's 29th birthday party. <laughs> I, can't, I can't keep this up. She's 46. Here, we brought you guys an orchid from Trader Joe's because we don't know or care about any of your interests. Better wrap it up, honey. Tide's coming in. Well, let's break for presents, but after that, I'll show you Susie's birth video, and I'll tell you, she fell out of there like an orange out of an old dress sock. <laughs> Bonnie? I told you, Joe, when we're alone, you can call me Bonald. No, no, it's me, Brian. Is that your real name? I mean, are, are you are you okay? It's just that when I was young, I had so many things I wanted to do with my life. But now, I'm 46, and all I've ever done is take care of Joe. And now you feel like you never had a chance to be your true self. Yeah. I know just how you feel. I mean, I'm happy that Peter found me and gave me a home, but sometimes I wonder if I'd be happier on my own. Exactly. It's like, sometimes I feel... Why are you scratching behind my ear? I, I, I don't, I don't know. I thought it might make you feel better. It does feel kind of nice. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I didn't, I didn't mean... No, it's okay. Um, I'd better go downstairs before Joe realizes I'm gone. And before Peter gets into the stuff that's not for the party. Brian, what are you doing up so late? I'm having trouble sleeping. I gotta tell you something. I kissed Bonnie last night. What? I know, I know, it was a huge mistake. So, let's just do two or three high fives and then forget it ever happened. Brian, if Joe finds out, he'll kill you. Yeah, no kidding. That's why you can't tell anybody. Promise me. Hey, don't worry, don't worry. I'm great at keeping secrets. Ah, oh, come on in. Hey, da, Joe and Bonnie are here for game night. Game night? Yeah, I figured it was the least we could do since you pulled up a beheading video on your phone at their party and showed it to everyone. It was really more about how loud my phone can get. Peter, we're doing this. <sighs> All right. But the operation game is out of battery, so I'll have to make the noise. <clears throat> you hear that? That's the sound of bad surgery. Uh, about a boy. Uh, four, four weddings and a funeral. Uh, nine months. Notting Hill! Yes, it was Notting Hill. I'm gonna go get more wine. Oh, hey. Ah, uh, hi, Brian. Um, listen, about the other night, you haven't told anyone, have you? Look, the other night was great, but it was a mistake. You're right. Oh, man, what? Yeah, I, I mean, there's, there's definitely some kind of connection between us, but... I felt it, too, but maybe in another life, huh? <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. This could never work. Like porn movies before sound. Ugh. Uh, dog? So something with a dog? Uh, dog kiss? I, 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 uh, I think that's uh, time. Your, your turn is over. Oh, sounds like. Uh, sounds like dog kisses crippled guy's wife at your party. Wait, wait, I know it. The other night at your party, Brian kissed Bonnie. What? <gasps> Bonnie, is this true? Oh, my God. I know, making out with a dog? Can you even imagine a woman who possibly does that for real? Uh... Hi, Joe. Hi, Brian. Look, I, I want to apologize for what happened. I, I, I didn't mean to kiss Bonnie. Everybody had a little too much to drink. It, it just happened. I, I hope we're still cool. Hey, don't worry about it. It was a crazy party. We ran out of salsa. <laughs> hey, is that your car? <laughs> what? No! Wait, what's he doing? My car was parked legally. <sighs> Well, maybe your car violated some sort of unspoken boundary, one that nobody bothers to codify because it's just common decency. Well, I hope your day gets better, Brian, but uh, I wouldn't count on it. <laughs> hey, Brian, I uh, know that things have been awkward between us, but just to show you there's no hard feelings, can I buy you a drink? You know what? Sure. Thanks. Are these forever? I also rubbed my butt on you while you were unconscious. I like to put stuff online. Guys, thanks again for doing this. Joe has been making my life hell. Of course. All right, now when Joe gets here, we're just going to tell him he needs to lighten up on Brian, and then we'll all talk this thing out so we can move past it. What's going on? What's all this?
Joe, we all know what happened, and we're here for you. But we think that you're taking this revenge on Brian just a little too far. Yeah, yeah, I mean, come on. It's, it's like enough is enough. The Triscuits are the rosemary kind, not the regular kind. Me? I'm not the guy who violated the sanctity of someone else's marriage. You're out of control. Even though Brian's been trying to do my wife for years, and on some level I hate him for it. Oh, Brian's a complete dick, we all know that. But I think we're losing sight of the point that Bonnie's a weird slut who's always letting you know she's open for business. What? When am I doing that? Oh, come on, when are you not doing that? With that boo-boo baby voice and that still breastfeeding rack? Ugh, give me some of that! Okay, enough! How dare any of you criticize Bonnie? For years, she gave up her own dreams to take care of Joe. And yeah, maybe she kissed me. Maybe she needed to because she feels so trapped in her marriage. It's true. No one ever takes the time to ask how I feel. Brian's the only one. They don't get us, Bonnie. And you deserve better than this. We both do. You know what? Let's get out of here. Ah, <sighs> We did it. We don't need those narrow-minded losers. This is so exciting. We can finally live the lives we've always wanted. Like, I can finally start my jewelry design business making earrings for tweens. Listen, hear that? That is the sound of not making an enormous mistake. I think I hear it. Do you have, like, a credit card? Nope. And no cash either. But I don't care. I couldn't stand another moment with Joe. It was torture just watching him do a crossword puzzle. <sighs> She's really gone. And she took little Susie with her. I miss that baby more than anything. <coughs> oh, I guess she left it here. Joe, I want you to know, I will not support that relationship. If Brian and Bonnie get married, I will not go. Although Brian might want me to be his best man, then I'd have to go. And I'd have to dance. It'll be weird to be best man and not dance. But don't worry, Joe. I'll only refer to you as Bonnie's ex. You know, like, Bonnie has an ex, but Brian marks the spot. Oh, Peter, that's good. Thanks, babe. I hope Brian and Bonnie are as happy as us. To Brian and Bonnie! Bad news. The teenage runaways at Table 4 were not big tippers. We just need enough money to get to Taos. That's like the capital of making and selling your own jewelry. Okay, enough about the jewelry. Do you even know how to make it? I know how to make jewelry. If you could talk with even a little bit of inflection to your voice so it doesn't sound so much like a power sander. Screw you. You tweet things that aren't worth tweeting. Well, I'm sorry, but Kim Kardashian did get famous for making a sex tape. We all know that. That's not yours. And stop breathing through your mouth. It's really annoying. At least I've had an orgasm. Wow. I am sorry. Look, th th this isn't us. This is just the no food and sleeping in a car talking. We can make this work, like couples who meet on Craigslist. You're, You're not, not what, what you look, look like, like in your picture. picture. Let's, Let's get, get this, this over, over with. with. I wonder which one of us is the murderer. See, if I make under 20 grand for 20 years, my film school debt just goes away. That's a government rule. Bonnie? Joe? How did you find me? Love is a powerful compass. Anytime I quiet my mind and clear my heart, it always leads me to you. Plus, Dirtbag here has a chip in his ear. I do? Damn it, no wonder Peter's so good at hide-and-seek. I'm sorry if you've had to put your dreams on hold because of me. Oh, Joe. But I'm here to fight for you, Bonnie. And if you're willing to come back home, I promise I'll spend the rest of my days taking care of you. Just the way you've always taken care of me. Of course I want to come home, Joe. I love you. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, damn it! Hey, Bri. Came to try that apple pie you were texting about. Oh, you shot. Kids, this morning Principal Shepard wanted to say a few words. Thank you, Mrs. Abbott. Uh, before I start, are these the normal kids or kind of the dur dur ones? It's a healthy mix. Good morning, children. It's that time of the year again to fulfill your community service requirement by signing up for volunteer work. Do we get to choose our own jobs? No, 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 no. The jobs will be assigned randomly, but the cooler and prettier students have the better jobs. Mrs. Parkhurst? I'm Meg, your new student volunteer. Oh, you must be my new student volunteer. Yeah, I just said that. What's your name, dear? It's Meg. C can I get a new person? Nonsense. Come in. And between you and me, I hate my new student volunteer. That ugly little Meg. She says she's a girl, but she certainly has a boy's body odor. <sighs>
Oh, it wasn't easy, Mrs. Parkhurst. But I think we got the nail that was poking through your slipper. Well, you strike me as someone who's never going to get married, that's for sure. Now get me my itch cream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here's your cream. See you Thursday. Oh my god, I can't believe I stole this. You know what? I don't feel bad. That woman's a nightmare. <gasps> Ooh, I should text this to my best friend. Meg, Mom said that... Hey, what's all this stuff? Stuff I stole from the old folks' home. But you should see how they treat me. Meg, that's no excuse. Stealing is just plain... Oh my god, is that someone else's glasses? I love wearing other people's glasses! <laughs> do I look like I stole Atomic Secrets? You do! Wow, this is awesome! I want in! And there's the splitting headache from wearing someone else's glasses. Who's there? Why are you in my room? Oh, hi. You died, and I'm here to take you to heaven. Um, upsy-daisy, here we go. Well, now that I'm in heaven... Uh... Hurry, take everything, and be quick, or we'll be in bigger trouble than a fat guy at a water park. And can you hand me that ashtray? I might fire up this pipe again. Chris, that's not an ashtray. That's an urn for someone's ashes. Really? Yeah, you've been putting your pipe out in some guy. Oh my god, what are we doing? I feel awful. We need to give everything back. Oh, you're right. We need to do the right thing. Like the dad from Small Wonder. Okay. We ditch the stuff in the day room, and then I'm done with my volunteer hours, and we never come back here again. <laughs> Listen, we're very sorry we stole from you, but you have it all back now, so we cool, right? You know I should call the police on you. The police? Or maybe instead we do things my way. What's that? You will spend time with us every afternoon after school, doing jigsaw puzzles, reading us the newspaper, listening to poorly remembered stories that have no point. Now I feel some dementia coming. Feed me pudding while I grip your wrist in terror. <sighs> this isn't my house. Well, Chris and I sure learned a lot this week. Ha! Huh, you think you learned a lot? I had quite an adventure. You know what, guys? We only got like 15 seconds left. We're gonna have to do these at the same time. Let's race. And go! So, so I Chris learned that maybe it's okay to run away, but try not to get carried away. Well, I guess didn't let you steal the paint like so much. No, but I am done messing around with neighbors' wives. And the winner is nobody. Especially not you. Good night! <laughs>